Okay, we've got a little experiment here today. This is just a homemade electric magnet. I've got about a uh, five or six inch carriage bolt here. And uh, as you can see, there's no magnetic properties to this. But when I energize it with these two D batteries, it becomes an electromagnet. And of course, when I take the current off, that magnetic field is gone and uh, no longer useful. Now what I've got here is a homemade horseshoe type magnet. It's made out of, looks like a one inch uh, by quarter inch plate steel. Um, I'll put it together. First of all, you can see that there is no magnetism there. I'm gonna slide it over here and these two jumper cables go to my uh, battery charger which I need to plug back in. Okay, now I'm going to energize. Okay, now you can see that that does a pretty good job of, of holding. Now, what's the difference between this one and uh, this one. This one here, when I took the current off, I lost the magnetism. But look at that. Okay, I'm going to energize it again. course it's not like a magnet anymore because it's a closed loop but these magnetic lines of flux or whatever you want to call them uh, this magnetic field is going round and round and it is definitely making that a magnet now the main reason that I made this video today let me readjust the camera here it brings my oscilloscope into view and this here is the uh, double amazing jewel thief that I have a previous video on. I'm just using it for an example. But right here is we got that ferrite core. And as long as this battery is providing voltage to this, it's it's energizing this. And, and I'm getting about 24 volts there, which is not bad out of a, a one and a half volt battery and, uh, and all these LEDs. Okay. Now when I take the voltage off, does it go away? Turn the scale way down and you begin to see this ripple. must not have my settings right or something. I'm kind of new at this oscilloscope though. <clears throat> anyway, if I take the oscilloscope out of the picture, you can see the, uh, the readings there. It looks like about 3.12 millivolts. And if I put it back in the circuit, it jumps higher seven six seven eight millivolts so there is something there well now whether it's a, a picking up stray frequencies from the surrounding area i don't know but anyway just uh something to think about and hope you enjoyed the video thank you